The judge's decision allows the suspect to post 10% of his quarter million dollar bond, or in other words, $25,000 cash. For their part, the victim's family stormed out of court angry at what they believe was preferential treatment for the suspect because he's white. Walking to court, Tyler Newby stayed quiet as a deal was worked out behind closed doors to allow the 30-year-old murder suspect to be released on bond. I've seen so many cases where people murder people and they don't get no bond. I don't understand this. I don't understand this. My son is gone and he's never coming back. Newby previously admitted to shooting and killing Siobhan's 18-year-old son, Dorian Morrell, near Penn and Market during a violent night of rioting in downtown. Newby's attorney claims the shooting was self-defense, but Morell's family believes the decision to grant Newby bond is racially motivated. This is all about color. It's all about color. Exactly. Because if that was my grandson sitting there on trial, he wouldn't have got out. I don't understand Indiana. I just don't see how this is fair. According to court records, Newby told police he was pushed to the ground, saw Morell standing over him, and was afraid he was going to be punched, so he shot Morell one time, allegedly in self-defense. Newby has been in jail since the end of May. Are you pleased? Oh, absolutely. It should have happened a long time ago. Walking out of court, Newby's father, who asked that we share this picture of his son, expressed relief in the judge's decision. In Indiana, murder suspects are not entitled to bond, but they can make a request to a judge. It's more and more common now for defendants to file these petitions with the court because the, the Supreme Court has offered some clarity in terms of what the showing must be. Attorney Ralph Staples isn't connected to the case, but says the burden is on the state to prove the suspect committed the murder and shouldn't be given a bond. Prosecutors decided not to present any evidence in court against Newby, paving the way for his bond, which Staples described as rare in a murder case, but not unheard of. Finally, Newby will have to wear a GPS ankle monitor and live at his parents' home in Brownsburg until his criminal trial gets underway. Jesse Wells, CBS 4 News.